It's July 10th, and who's ready to get controversial? While you're watching and diving into the comments, make sure to also hit that like and subscribe button too. All right, the year is 2025, and our current medical concerns look like... Whoops, sorry, that's a picture from 1992. I meant this which is July's 2025 major medical concern. Both shows are showing the same thing, which is measles, which is often identifiable by a full body rash and spots, fever, cough, and other symptoms. The disease was declared eliminated in the year 2000 by the CDC. This was a major win because measles is incredibly contagious and can be extremely harmful to people who contract it, especially if they're not, pause for excitement, vaccinated against measles. According to the CDC, the two doses that people can receive give you up to 97% resistance to the disease. So you might be asking yourself, okay, if the resistance rate is 97%, which is an A bordering on an A plus in most classrooms, how is this something that we're talking about in 2025 after it was eliminated in the year 2000? Now that's a great question. Since 2000, we've seen a few isolated incidents. These have mostly impacted unvaccinated populations such as the Amish communities in Ohio and Orthodox Jewish communities in New York. These resurgence slowed during COVID as fewer people were traveling, but the major issues plaguing us today were rampant. The major causes of measles today is threefold, a vaccine gap, travel, and vaccine hesitation and misinformation. During COVID, hospitals were overrun and well, the world was a mess. It makes sense why young children would have missed the time period for when the MMR or measles vaccine are usually administered. That being said, it can be received anytime and it's left part of the community unvaccinated and therefore unprotected. Next is travel. It makes sense that when people go to new areas and interact with people that they could contract new diseases. But you're probably thinking to yourself, but if people are vaccinated against measles, then how many people could you really come in contact with who have it? Unfortunately, since the year 2000, misinformation regarding the side effects of the measles vaccine has been on the rise and has been exacerbated by social media. And if you remember, social media was a <coughs> interesting place during COVID. A result of this has become the overwhelming fear of the MMR vaccine and therefore parents deciding not to vaccinate their children. While I'm not a parent myself, it is an objective fact that people who are vaccinated against measles are better protected against contracting the disease and its most dangerous symptoms. Unfortunately, fear of side effects like its connection to autism, which scientific research has disproven over and over, has blinded people to the need to vaccinate their children. And while this measles outbreak is not just limited to the United States, states, it is danger within our borders that can be avoided. So with that in mind, be kind in the comments and remember democracy only works if you do.